Okay, we have here today another integral from the MIT integration made from 2015. This was number 18. We have the integral of tan to the fourth x dx. Okay, this is really just kind of a straightforward integral that you learn in calculus class. And what we always want to do with this is we're typically going to want to break this up and get some secants in there. Because if we have like secant squared, because if we can get a secant or a secant squared in this expression, then maybe we can do a u substitution. So let's just look at a couple of derivatives really quick that we can use. So the derivative of tan x is just going to be secant squared x. And the derivative of just secant x, that could be useful. That's going to be secant x times tan x. But now, of course, we don't have secant anywhere in our integral. We can use this identity, though. We have this identity tan squared x plus 1 is equal to secant squared x. And then using this, if we just subtract 1 on both sides, we can get an expression for tan squared x. We can write tan squared x as secant squared x minus 1. So then coming back to our integral, I can actually split this up because I want to get a tan squared. So I can write this as, we can write this as tan squared x times tan squared x. And then what I can do is let's just use this bottom formula on one of the tan squares to rewrite this. So doing that, we're going to have, we'll bring down this tan squared x here. Then we'll use this. We're going to have secant squared x minus 1 dx. And then I'll just take this tan squared and distribute it in here, split it into two integrals. So the first one is going to be tan squared x, secant squared x, and the second one is just going to be a tan squared. But then on the second integral, I can just use this identity again and rewrite this one more time. So down here, this is going to become this is going to become this thing. We're going to have this is this will be secant squared x minus one. And now here I can just distribute this minus one in, but I'm running out of space. Let me clean up the board and we'll continue. Okay, now from here, everything over here to the right, this is all some easy stuff. So we'll just put this off for a minute. But here, what I'm going to do is let's just do a u substitution on this. I'll make my u equal to tan x. Then my du, we found over here that our derivative of tan x is secant squared, so our du is just going to be secant squared x dx. But we have that, we have our du right here. So when we do this substitution, this is going to transform, this is going to become u squared, and this whole thing is going to be du. And then here, again, we're going to split this into two integrals, but for this first one, we know that the integral of secant squared x, we can just kind of do the derivative in reverse and we get tan x. So this first piece is going to be minus tan x. And we distribute minus 1 times minus 1 here, it's going to be plus 1. Derivative of 1 is x, this is just going to give me a plus x here. So we'll come back over here and integrate integral of u squared. Power rule, this is going to give me u cubed over 3. We're going to have our tan x plus x. But then let's just back substitute in order to finish this off with our u value here. So for my final solution for this, we're going to have just tan cubed x over 3 minus tan x plus x plus c, and that's it. Okay, so there you have it, kind of a routine problem from MIT 2015. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.